Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. It's the holiday season and I'm gonna show you how to make ambrosia salad. It has a tropical feel to it. It's like a fruit salad and it's a perfect salad to have on your dessert table, bring to potlucks, to gatherings during the holidays. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's so easy to make. There's no cooking, no baking involved. So let's put this one together. There are so many different versions of ambrosia salad. You can do it your way if you want. We're gonna start off with three of my favorite fruits. We've got pineapple chunks. So what we're gonna do, drain these. I'm gonna drain my juice into a bowl here. We're not gonna waste that juice because I'm gonna make a cocktail with it. Now this cocktail has no alcohol in it. I'm just gonna take all three juices, stir it up, and have a drink. All right, so we've got one can, 20 ounces of pineapple chunks, or you can get the tidbits. We're gonna drain that well. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you've made ambrosia salad before and what fruits you've put into yours. I'm a big fan of pineapple. All right, I'm just gonna get a lot of the juice out. And then what you wanna do, place it into a large bowl. All right, the next fruit, I'm gonna be using mandarin oranges that come in a can and it just has water in it. So it's naturally sweetened. Oh, yeah, those look good. Get the excess juice out. All right, we don't wanna mash them too much. So let's go ahead and add that to our large mixing bowl with the pineapple. Now you can double this recipe if you wanna do that. Maraschino cherries. Now these don't have the stems on them, so if you get ones that have the stems, you'll just have to pull the stems off. You know, empty the whole jar and drain these. All right, move these around just a little bit. That's gonna be a good cocktail in there. <laughs> I will definitely give that a try. All right, let's go ahead and add this to our oranges and pineapple. Just think of all the different fruits you can use. You can do this with fruit cocktail also. It's got all the fruits in it. Yep, this way you can put the fruits you want into it. Now you have some options to pull this all together. I'm gonna to be using some Cool Whip and you wanna make sure this is thawed. You get this out of your frozen section of your store or you can make your own homemade whipped topping. We're gonna make it easy for you today. All right, we're gonna place that all in. I'm also gonna add in some yogurt. Now you can put in sour cream if you want, but I'm gonna do the yogurt. It's flavored, this is a vanilla bean. Another layer of flavor. I can see the little flecks of vanilla bean in here. It smells delicious too. We're gonna add that. Let me tell you how many ounces I'm putting in. 5.3. We're gonna go ahead and give this a mix. Oh, it looks delicious. It looks so fruity. It's a very cool, refreshing dessert that people can dive into after the turkey or after the ham, whatever you're having for Thanksgiving, Christmas. This is really good for Easter also, or just any occasion, potluck, if you need to bring something for a church gathering. 
family gathering. Oh, look at those cherries in there. All right, let's finish this off. Now at this point you can add sweetened coconut, but since my husband doesn't like coconut shreds, we're going to skip that step, which is fine. We're going to be adding some mini marshmallows. Now these are just the white ones. If you can find the colored ones that are tropical, put those in. Oh, add to the color. Make it really nice. Let's see how much we're going to add. Let me go back to my recipe here. Y'all can find this on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. Look up ambrosia salad. All right, this is a 10 ounce bag. So we're gonna add about five ounces, half the bag. All right, we're going to fold the marshmallows into our fruit salad. The perfect no-bake, no-cook dessert. Get all those marshmallows mixed in. All right, that looks really good. I think it's all mixed. What you want to do now is place this into a serving bowl so that it looks so pretty. We'll do the nice orange one here. It'll look good for the holidays. Now, if you wanna sprinkle some nuts, some crushed walnuts or pecans or chop, chop them up, you can do that. Ambrosia salad is known for a lot of different variations. All right, I spoon some out into a small bowl so that I can take a bite for you. And I'm gonna follow that up with my three juice cocktail <laughs> with no cocktail in it. All right, does that look good? Nice and refreshing. Let me give it a try. Mm. Yep, it's very refreshing. If you make that the night before, put it in your refrigerator, let all the flavors meld together and get into those marshmallows. Oh my gosh. But you can make it right before and bring it and you're totally good. All right, let's toast to that. Mm. That's good. Pineapple, cherry, and orange. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below what you're putting in your ambrosia salad or what your recipe is. Let us all know. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will list down below in the description box some more fruit salads that I have, like my ever-famous grape salad. So go check that one out. I'll see y'all on the next episode.